Hey everyone, welcome to Carrie's Garage. And on this episode, we're back with the station wagon because I got a new fuel pump. So we're gonna go ahead and get it installed, see if we can't get this thing running. Thankfully, it's really easy to do. And before we get started, if you can hit that subscribe button with the little bell if you haven't done that already, we're getting pretty close to hitting that 1000 mark. Really appreciate the support and don't forget, I also now have a Patreon. The link is down below in the description. So if you wanna help support the channel so I can get some parts to keep these projects moving along, it would be really appreciated. Now let's go ahead and get this fuel pump in. Well, we're here now under the car. So you can see here's the fuel tank and the fuel pump goes there in that hole. And thankfully, this is super easy to do. So let's go ahead and get that old O-ring out. We'll get the new fuel pump slid in. I did pump out any of the fuel that was left in the tank. There wasn't really much in there. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get that in. Well, it appears that we went from, it's fairly easy to, now the fuel tank is out. So I had noticed, I pulled the new fuel pump out and there's a little bit of grungy crap on it. So thankfully it's fairly accessible. So I'm just gonna try and scrub some of the stuff on the inside of the tank and see if I can break it loose and clean it up a little bit. Ugh, I really hate vehicles that have been sitting with grungy fuel tanks. It's a real pain. And remind me again why I got a car that sat for five or six years. It's just new fuel is disgusting. It's amazing how bad, bad stuff it does to fuel tanks. So I got the tank scrubbed out as much as I really can. Yes, I probably should have got it boiled out, but I just didn't really have the time or want to deal with it right now. So that's what we got. I put a little bit of RTV on the O-ring, just kind of see if I can get it to stay in place. And the best part is now I can install this without having to be under the car. This thing is being a real pain. I'm not sure what's going on here. Well, just like that, with a bunch of banging and a really bunch of obnoxious trying to install it, it's now in. Looks like the O-ring was decently seated so let's go ahead and slide it back under and get it bolted back up into place. Well, after a little bit of fighting, fuel pump is in, fuel tank is in, strapped up. So quick intermission break. I'm gonna go run to the gas station, buy five gallons of gas. Let's fill this guy up and we'll see if it starts. I really hope it does. Should, I don't know why it wouldn't.
So I got the engine to crank. The fuel pump is not turning on through the relay so I can hot wire it. The fuel pump is working, I'm getting fuel, but it's not doing anything. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my node testers. It's a test light you plug into the injector and I pull an injector. So let's go ahead and see if I'm getting any pulse on the actual injector, because if it's not, that means that we have a problem with the computer either not turning on or it's not firing. So yeah, let's see if we're getting any pulse on the injectors, because if we're not, then we have to figure out what else is going on. I got the key on. I'm just gonna jump the starter block right here. And we're gonna take a look and see if there's anything going on here. So I'm not getting anything on the injector. So that means that the computer's probably not turning on or it's just not firing the injectors. So there's another thing to figure out, great. Well now I need to figure out how the computer gets its electricity and seeing what's going on there. So let me figure that one out now. Well, it appears we have a bit of a problem I'm not getting any electricity to the fuel injectors. Doesn't look like it's getting any pulse to them. So without a wiring diagram, I'm kind of stuck in the water. So I need to do a little bit of research and see if I can get the wiring to figure out how the ECU is powered, you know, figure out what's going on with it. But we got a new fuel pump and it works. At least that's something. But was hoping to get it started today, but guess not. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and catch you on the next video.